welcome, welcome. This is your daily five minute read. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll see what the universe has in store for you today. Maybe we're talking about a love coming your way. Maybe we're talking about a new job opportunity or some money coming along. Let's see what the universe has. And that one wanted to fall out of the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have foundation and achievement. So maybe working towards uh, maybe a new career, setting down a foundation for a future I have recognition and reward. So definitely something good is coming your way, some sort of opportunity or payoff. I have the light card as well. This light card to me uh, speaks of hope for the future. I do have temptation as well. And the base chakra, which can speak to money or the physical body. I have a feeling we're going to be talking about money in this read, though. I do have hope. So definitely good things are coming around the bend. I feel like things are going to start getting better for you as well. Patience and planning. So I feel like you definitely have been working towards something for quite a while and carefully planning. I have triumph. These are beautiful cards to get. I see all sorts of wonderful things coming your way harmony so this money might bring uh sort of a balance back into your life might be cut some of the stress out as well i do have choose wisely this definitely speaks to to having many choices and being careful and weighing your options let's see what tarot has to say about these cards whoa and i have the six of swords which represents moving from stormier times to calmer ones in your life so better stuff on the way, I do have the Page of Swords, which can represent delayed or disappointing news. I feel like it's speaking to uh, this good news, this achievement that you're about to be getting. This has been a long time coming for you. Uh, the Eight of Cups represents a bright new journey forward and leaving the past behind. You can see all those cups back there behind him. I feel like this is going to be a new chapter for you. The Two of Wands represents choosing a path. I feel like it's definitely tied into this choose wisely um, and choosing a new future, a new career path for yourself. The Queen of Swords to me speaks of being true to yourself, your needs, your wants, uh, your desires in life and following your passions. I have the Seven of Wands, which also speaks of taking back control of your life. You know what? I feel like this opportunity that's coming your way, this base chakra, this money, um, maybe it's a promotion or a raise. I feel like it's going to give you more options in life. It's going to give you the option to sort of take back control um, and be able to steer your life in the direction that you truly want it to go in. The Strength card speaks of empowerment to me. And the Knight of Swords to me represents victory in truth and honesty. And I feel like moving through life in a true and an honest way and being true to yourself in this path and working hard, this is where your victory lies. I also have the Sun card, which is a good omen card. It represents positive things manifesting for you in your life. And I feel like it's also speaking to this base chakra and this money that's coming your way, this recognition and reward oh yeah and the five of pentacles speaks to going through a rough time financially so i feel like this is definitely what you've been working towards um trying to improve your financial situation trying to to give yourself more options here i do have the world card and the world card says that the universe is going to be rewarding you for all of your hard work it represents positive things manifesting for you but these are not ones that show up under the blue these are ones that you have to earn and i feel like uh, you have been slaving away working towards this uh, being on this true path for yourself and planning i have the ace of swords which represents triumph so beautiful wonderful things are coming your way i also have the ten of swords which represents a disappointing ending but one that's beneficial for you in the long run i feel like it's speaking to the catalyst that started this journey for you and maybe it speaks to um, a job loss or a relationship coming to an end something that was hurtful that you felt was awful at the time but I feel like looking back, you're going to be able to see how this thing was actually an integral part of you choosing this path to begin with and finding this path to success. I do have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents abundance and happiness. And I feel like that is definitely the direction that you are heading in. I see lots of wonderful things coming your way. And I see this money giving you opportunity to take back control of the direction of your life. This is going to be very empowering for you. Alrighty guys, that's what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the pot. Alrighty guys, take care.